The Bible says that we are a persecuted, cross bearing, there unto appointed people. In other words, all those that shall have God will suffer persecution. But the fact of the matter is, is that all the promises of God have already been written from the foundation of the world, and we have got to catch up with God. And so what he has given us as a gift is faith, long-suffering, love to wait on him, joy to endure, peace to be settled in your spirit, goodness, gentleness, kindness, and self-control. He gave us all that so that you can hold on and receive the promises that God has for you. Now, the problem is, is that because so many things are being between the time that God gave you the promise and the delivery of the promise, the devil has got you focusing on everything but the promise. I'm going to make it simple for you. You are just sold the seed in the ground. You will not see that seed come up today, tomorrow, maybe next week. But you need the food from that seed. In the meantime, you've got to use the gifts of the spirit the elements of the spirit to keep your mind together because the devil is going to work walk, work through your eyes and your ears and your past and your present and your your future we have failed God because we haven't utilized what he has given us Hallelujah. That's why the Bible talks about enduring, enduring, persevering. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praying in the Holy Ghost, fasting. Praise the Lord. He's talking about all these things because the devil knows that we have this commonality on us and he's working through our flesh to keep us from getting the promise. And don't think if the promise was supposed to come today and you are not in line with God's will that you're going to receive it tonight. Then I'm gonna move on. God said, I'm gonna take my people to the promised land, Canaan. That was supposed to happen within 14 days. It took them 40 years. Why? Because between their uh, emancipation and the promise being fulfilled, they murmured and complained. Lord, I can't wait. 